interest. Okay, simple interest is I equal P R N. Okay, so I, okay, I is the interest you earn if you put money in the bank, or the interest you have to pay if you borrow money from the bank. Okay, now P is principal. Okay, or the amount of money that you invest, or the amount of money you borrow. Okay, now and R R is the interest rate. Okay, it can be five percent, two percent, or six percent, whatever. Okay, the bank charge you. Okay, if you borrow money from the bank, and then N is the term. It can be years, can be months, can be weeks, can be day. Okay, and so on. All right. So this is simple interest. I equal P R N. Now, okay, let's uh, let's do uh, some examples. Okay, let's say I put two thousand dollars in the bank. All right, and then the bank pay me, give me five percent. Okay, per year, which is per annum. Okay, and then I leave it there for four years. Okay, for four years. Okay, so how much interest do I earn? Okay, at the end of four years. All right. So this is simple interest. So let's go. Okay. So the rule is I equal P R N. Okay. So I I don't know what I is. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So now I equal P P is two thousand because it's two thousand. I put in the bank for two thousand dollars. So I put two thousand. All right. And then you times by the interest rate. What's the interest rate? It's five percent. So it's just time by five over a hundred, okay? And time by n, n is four this time. So if you type that in your calculator, okay, you get four hundred dollars. All right, that's how much you earn in interest, okay? So that's that's how much I get if I put two thousand dollars in the bank for four years at five percent, okay? Interest rate. Okay, let's move on next one. Okay, now this time. Let's say I borrow five thousand dollars. Okay, I borrow five thousand dollars. Okay, at the rate of six percent. Okay, six percent per annum. So I borrow five thousand, and the bank charge me six percent per uh, per annum, and I um, and I I borrow for two and a half years, which is two point five years. Okay, two point five years. So how much interest do I have to pay? Okay, at the end of two point five years. So which is interest, which is I, okay? Now, remember, cause I borrow, cause I borrow five thousand. So this is P. That's how much I borrow. Principal. Interest rate is six percent. So which is R, okay? Six percent. N is the term, which is N is two point five, okay? So now, remember. So with the rule is I equal P R N. I equal P R N. Okay, so P is five thousand. Okay, five thousand. That's how much I borrow, and the rate is six percent. Six percent mean per hundred. Okay, six per hundred, and time by two point five. Two point five. Okay, so if you type that in your calculator, okay, you will get seven hundred and fifty dollars. That's how much okay interest I have to pay. Okay. So if I borrow five thousand dollars at interest rate of six percent for two point five year, I will have to pay the interest of seven thousand five hundred. I mean, sorry, seven hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Now, how much do I have to pay all together? Okay. How much? Yes, the principal. That's how much I borrow, which is five thousand. Okay. That's how much I borrow. I pay them all back. Plus, I have to pay the interest as well, which is seven hundred and fifty dollars. So if you add them up, okay, you will get five hundred, uh, five thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, so all together, I pay five thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars if I borrow five thousand dollars. Okay. Thank you. Let's move on next one. Okay. Look, next one is, let's say, let's say I'm gonna invest. One thousand five hundred this time. Okay, one thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. Now this time I only leave it there for eighteen months. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in the bank for eighteen months, and I get the interest rate of five percent per annum. Okay. 
So what is my interest? What is my interest? Okay, how much do I earn? Okay, in eighteen months time. So let's work it out. So the the simple interest is I equal P R N. Okay, so I is equal to P, which is in this case is one thousand five hundred. This is how much I put in the bank, which is P, times by the interest rate five percent per year. Okay, now because this is eighteen months, but the interest rate is five point. I mean five percent per year. Okay, per annum. So therefore, I times by eighteen over twelve because twelve months in a year. All right, that's all you need to do. So if it give you months and per year, you just times by whatever months over twelve because twelve months in a year. Okay. So if I if I put that in calculator, okay, I I will get one hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cents. Okay, that's how much interest I earn at the end of. Eighteen months, okay. So the total money that I will have in the bank, okay. If I want to find out how much I have in the bank at the end of eighteen months, now I would have one thousand five hundred, okay. At, okay, one hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cents. So if I add them up, I will have one six one two and fifty, okay. That's how much I have, okay. Now. Let's move on next next one, okay. So this time, okay. Let's say this time, <coughs> I will put two thousand four hundred in the bank, okay. Two thousand four hundred, okay, and I earn the interest of six hundred. That's my interest I earn at the rate the bank give me six percent per year, okay. Now. How long do I have to live in the bank, which is N, so that I can earn the interest of six hundred dollars, if I put two thousand four hundred dollars in the bank? So, it's the same rule apply because it's simple interest. So simple interest I equal P R N. You see, I is the interest. So interest at this time. This time the interest is six hundred dollars, right? So which is, hang on, I just try to clear this. So six hundred dollars. I just write six hundred. Okay, is equal to, okay, P, which is two thousand four hundred, times by the interest rate. The interest rate is six percent per year. So which is six, six percent means six over hundred, times by n, because I don't know what n is. All right. <coughs> So now to work this out, I just cancel this to zero. So you just you just you use um twenty four times six. So I write six hundred first. Okay, equal twenty four times six would have been a hundred and forty four if you put in your calculator. So which is hundred forty four n. Now because I'm looking for n, so I must get rid of the a hundred and forty four. So I divide by one hundred forty four. I divide by one hundred and forty four. Okay. So therefore, n Is equal to six hundred divided by one hundred forty-four. If you use your calculator, you will get four point one six 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 and so on. Okay. So if you use your calculator and you can um you can say you can type S D, okay, or A B C the button depend what calculator you have. So you it will show on your calculator which is four and one six. Okay. So therefore. Your answer is therefore, okay, four and one six years, okay, or you can write four years, okay, and two months. Two months, okay. Sorry, I just run up space. So four year and two months. I just shortcut, okay. Four year and two months. Thank you. Okay, let do last one. Okay, you're doing really, really, really well. Okay, now let do last one. This time, okay, let's say I I am gonna invest only five hundred dollars. Okay, I'm gonna invest five hundred dollars. Okay, in the bank. Okay, for five years. So which is n is five. Okay, the simple interest I earn is which is i equal one hundred and sixty-two dollars and fifty cents. Okay, that's how much. 
So what is the interest rate am I getting? Okay, so let's recap. Okay, P is the amount of investment. That's what I put it in, $500. And N is five years. The interest rate is $162.50. So what is the interest rate? Okay, now, doesn't matter what they're asking P or N or I or R because it's simple interest. It's just one rule given. That's all. I equal P R N. Okay. So I is this times is actually one six two and fifty is equal P. P is five hundred. Okay. R is the interest rate, which is I don't know. Sorry, is R. Okay. Times by N. N is five. Okay. Times by five. So. We have to work this out first. So five times five hundred times five. Okay. So I will have one six two point five zero is equal to five times five twenty five double zero R. Okay. Two hundred two thousand five hundred R. Then because I'm looking for R, I want to get rid of two thousand five hundred. So I divide by two thousand five hundred. I divide by divided by 2,500, okay? So this will be cancelled out. So therefore, R, if you type this in your calculator, okay, R will equal to 0 0.0502 and so on, right? So you want to convert to percentage, so you got therefore, R, if you time by 100, you move 1, 2, or just use your calculator, so 5.02 percent per annum okay as simple